I'm a huge fan of the five minute journal. In the back of the journal, I keep my affirmations. I hand wrote them out, say them on your head. You can read them out loud. A super hack, a supercharged way to really lock these in is to speak these to yourself in front of a mirror, like looking at yourself. Look yourself in the eyes. I know it's super awkward, but trust the process. Also, you should love looking at yourself in the mirror. You should like really, this is not narcissistic. This is not the N word. It's really important that you love you. So let's begin. I am daily attracting helpful, generous, and amazing people. I'm always at the right place at the right time. People always treat me fairly and honestly. I am a helpful person in other people's lives. Friendships with death. Friendships with depth and genuine connection come easily to me. I am worthy of the career success I desire. I am my creator. I love my body. I deserve to be happy, healthy, and fit. I am grateful for my mental health and physical health. I attract good, kind people into my life. I now allow more bliss, love, and financial abundance into my life. Money is my friend. There's also the theory to write out affirmation. Have a journal, write them out. I believe 25 to 50 times is what they suggest. I think for me, the writing it out, I don't write often, so to write things out, my hand hurts, and it's just, it's a negative vibration for me, and we wanna do this in a positive vibration. If you'd prefer to write them, then say them, and that feels more in alignment with you. Obviously, choose to do that. Just need you to remember that the main aspect of all of this is believing the things that you're saying. You really have to feel it in your body. Very similar to muscle memory, when you work out and your trainer says, focus on the muscle that you're working. That's the same with your with your vibration. When you're saying an affirmation, focus on your body's like belief in it. Feel it all throughout your body and really believe it. If you found this helpful, please share this with a friend. I think doing a few minutes of affirmations every morning is a wonderful way to start the day. Also in gratitude, which is why I love the five minute journal. Highly recommend, I've linked it below. Remember, Everything you think and everything you feel is your reality. And you have complete control over your thoughts. You have complete control over your emotions. You may be out of whack with your emotions and letting your emotions drive the car. If you've ever seen the cartoon Inside Out, when you hit hormones, you just kind of rage out because you don't understand what the emotions are. I think a lot of us were never taught or expressed how to process emotions. And now as an adult, especially if we've had PTSD, trauma, deceit, abandonment, abuse, it's, it's like we have this protective layer and we're more combative when emotions come up. And instead of feeling them and moving through them and releasing them, we're harboring them and we're stuffing them down into places because we don't wanna face things. And that's just exacerbating your issues and problems and causing dis-ease and disorder. You know what happens when you have disorder in your body? You have a mental disorder. But what if it happens if you have dis-ease in your body? You develop diseases. So we don't wanna manifest that for ourselves. We wanna get that out. And the easiest and best way to do that is to move through your emotions. I do love talk therapy. I do love breath work. I see a breath work coach maybe once or twice a month. Sometimes we do a breath work every session. Sometimes we don't, we just talk about things. I have done numerous psychedelics. I highly recommend if you're, if you're called to do them, don't force yourself to do one because everyone is on the train and you wanna hop on. Do the one that calls to you. I've done Bufo right after my brother passed, which is the psychedelic that's considered the most similar to death. But when processing death and bereavement, to go into a psychedelic experience of death was like perfect alignment for me. I did Cambo when I was really needing to get some rage out from the treatment that I had from my father. So it was perfect alignment with me. I had done Grandmother Aya just after my mother had passed away. I actually did my intention around the female lineage of my ancestry and so it was perfectly aligned. If you'd like more of these, please sign up for my email newsletter below as I sometimes send out special bonus videos that I don't post on YouTube. I post videos once, sometimes twice a week, talking about emotion, bereavement and death, breakup, traumatic experiences, being vulnerable, changing your mindset, financial abundance, how to call things in, how to shift your reality, and how to live your best life. Subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, my friends.